Hi, my name is Cody Alvarado. I'm with Cunis of Barneveld here, and welcome to another episode of Cunis Car Combos. Today, we'll be driving around with Jenna from Dodgeville Area Chamber of Commerce, and we'll be discussing the World Grilled Cheese Championship. We'll be driving as a 25 Ram 1500 Bighorn. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, Jenna. If you don't mind, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so I am the executive director here at the Dodgeville Area Chamber of Commerce, and I've been in this role about two years. Cool. And what role do you play with the Grilled Cheese Championship you guys are hosting? I am the co-chair of the event. Okay. Okay. And when is that again? Um, so the event is on April 20th, which is next Saturday, um, and it's doors open at 10.45, and the first competition starts at 11. Okay, first competition. What is, uh, is there several competitions? Is there different categories, or? Yeah, so we have um, our amateurs, we have our professionals, um, okay. youth, and then we also have a category for first responders. Oh, cool. So those go throughout the day. We have different times that those are happening. So our first heat and competition will start at 11 a.m. Okay, great. And how, so for each heat, you said, is it roughly how long does each one take? So each competitor gets about three minutes to make their sandwich. Oh, you only get three yep. minutes. So the, the pressure is on. It, huh? <laughs> yep. Um, so yeah, they, they give them a little bit of time, so you make a sandwich in the competitive area so that uh -huh. the judges will taste, and then you take it over to um, a different area where you cook another sandwich for some of our VIP ticket holders to taste as well. Got you. So the judges, how do you guys go about uh, getting the judges? Because I wouldn't probably volunteer for that. <laughs> <laughs> so we randomly so select our judges. So okay. um, we have different people, some couple of people this year are like certified um, master like barbecue judges okay. um you have some restaurant owners here in town that um, are judging as well okay. uh, we have our mayor um just different people around town that we asked gotcha and the competitors do they come from all over or is it pretty diverse area or is it mostly local people local no so we don't have a lot of local competitors um, i was oh, really? looking at the list yesterday and um we have people from um, illinois iowa uh, Wisconsin, and then there's actually a contestant this year that is from California. Oh wow! Oh yeah. wow! This event brings in people from all over the yeah. United States. You probably see some interesting combinations of grilled cheese sandwiches, I'm sure. Yeah. So last year, uh, the winner of the professional category he used quail eggs in quail his eggs. sandwich. Yeah. Okay, it's different. Yes, and breads. I'm sure you see, they use all different kinds of breads, huh? Not just standard breads. Yep, so yeah, they have all different kinds of bread, sourdough. I mean, mm -hmm. I have somebody this year, I think that's competing, that is going to make his own bread. Okay. Um, put some different ingredients in his own bread, so it's all different types. And I'm sure there's a wide area of age ranges of the contestants, or is it? Yeah, is so it? Our, our youth is, um, our young chef is 12 to 17 years old. Okay. And then amateur and um, above is ranges from all different ages, so. And the public, uh, the public is welcome, right? You said you can buy tickets, right? Yeah, so public's welcome um, to attend. General admission is $5 for ages 16 and older. Okay. 15 and younger get in free. And then uh, we also have our VIP tickets, which are a limited amount of tickets that we sell for those. Okay, and you said, I, you mentioned earlier that uh, the VIP tickets, you get a sandwich, or you do actually get to taste the sandwiches, or? What? Yeah, so with our VIP tickets, you get a swag bag. Um, oh, what was that? A swag bag. Oh, swag bag, okay. Yep, and then you get to um, get four samples of the contestant sandwiches. You get a cup of soup um, and a, a drink ticket, either a okay. bottle of water or um, an adult beverage. How many people typically attend? Um, I think last year we had roughly about 1,200 people attend. Okay, that's pretty good for Dodgeville, right? Yeah. Brings a lot of tourists into our area. And prizes, 
Is there prizes for the contestants? Yeah, so in our amateur and professional categories, um, our first place and second place will get cash. Okay. Um, first place is gonna get $50 in cash, and then second place will get 25. And then cool. third place, um, they will get a uh, item from a local business. So like we have blocks of cheese to hand out, uh, barbecue sauce. Perfect. Um, and then those three places will also get a trophy as well. So what is what would you say is your favorite part of the event? Um, but just seeing so many families come and enjoy, it's a very family friendly event. Um, mm -hmm. Just seeing so many people come in and enjoy the day and getting to watch the competition. Um, from a chamber standpoint, it's just really cool that um, a lot of people come to this event from outside of our area. So it does bring a lot of tourism to our area, not just for that day, but for the whole weekend because we do have people steady and they get to experience the local shops and local restaurants and the different things that we at Dodgeville have to offer. And where is the event held again? Can you tell us where that is? Yeah, so it's at the Lay Memorial Pavilion at Harris Park in Dodgeville. And I would like to say, I guess, too, what, besides the competition, if you're not compete, we do have other things there. So we, we will have um, 16 vendors that will be there that will be selling um, different items, different goods that they have. Okay. Um, Fox 47 will be there with their Lego Masters show, and so they will oh, cool. be able to build Legos. We have a kids area. Uh, we also have a Bloody Berry bar, uh, some wine, and a beer garden as well. And there'll be a food trucks and food vendors there as well for use. Oh, that's great. And you said the event starts again at what time? So doors open at 1045. Mm -hmm. um, the first heat starts at 11 and it goes till about four o'clock. Okay, perfect for a uh, Saturday. Yeah, nice little Saturday with your family, so. Yes. Oh, do you guys have any other events similar or anything else in the Dodgeville area going on? Um, that the coming months. Um, in the coming week, for the chamber, we have our annual golf outing that um, happens in June, um, and then we also have um, our town square event, which is a two-week event where we have um, different things every day that happens. A lot of live music during those times. Okay. We block off a, a street in our downtown area and make it like into like a park, and so we have uh, different events there. And then we also have um, Dodge Fest, which happens in August, which is an all-day music festival as well. Okay, where is that held at? Um, that is held at the Courthouse parking lot here in Dodgeville. So um, you can check out our Facebook page, um, Dodgeville Area Chamber of Commerce, and kind of get more information on each of those events and what's happening. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We greatly appreciate it. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we end this? I just want to say thank you for having me, and it's been a pleasure. So It's a pleasure for me as well. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.